Hello everybody and welcome back to what is probably the last part of my Amnesia Machine for Pigs playthrough. And we are on our way set to destroy the machine that we've built ourselves. We are about to stop the slaughter of innocent men and women and children along the way. Is that? Is it a ladder? Where is that ladder leaving? Uh, leading? I mean, what? At the spark plug, this electrification must be lethal to the touch. Now to confound the machine flood the system this time not with sewage but boiling sparking liquid death. Okay. Is there another one of those? Send a smoke to the stars. And the good. The word. How will we save them? Show me these worthy Mandus. Show me these good. I do not see them. Okay, these this is a pretty damned big installation right here. October 27th, then upstairs to bed, to bed, to toss and turn on bloated stomachs, to copulate and puke upon chaise longs, four posters or dressing table, collapse at last into the engulfing mattress, drunk and drugged and fat and stupid and senseless. And spring the trap, man peas, spring the trap. At a pull of a lever, a set of hydraulic pistons and gears are fired, resulting in three walls of steel bars dropping from the ceiling via the canopy to cage the product into the bed, preventing escape. The entire bed is then tilted backwards into the wall by a powerful spring mechanism, also fed by the hydraulics. The pressure for this system is created as a byproduct of the vacuum evisceration system employed for mass production elsewhere in the pig line. In this way, we have created our very own bottled revolution for the movement of the masses is a crucial factor in the extermination of the rich. There is a note. Second, coolant pumps. I sense an opportunity, my first strike, impeding these cogs with a large enough object should jam the flow of coolant, causing a pressure buildup that will split the pipes and rupture these tanks. Oh. I think that did the trick. sense and purpose in going down here. Maybe not really. Okay, let's get back up then. So we've sabotaged this part of the facility. Let's get back then. So it seems like everything is being flooded again. So, we 
where do we go now? Is the question. This is where we came from. These are all locked. And then we actually managed to do damage right here. No, this is turned down again. I don't know why. Now it's working okay. I I see what it is going on here. So we've actually flooded the facility, and now the electricity created by this uh, photoelectric reaction is short-circuiting the entire facility. Uh, right, but now we can't go in there anymore because I mean the entire thing is under in pretty much in a current we oh right there is another way to go right here oh okay we well, have to jump down here Took it. Took some harm right there. Try three. Enough, right? And there's some more piece. Ouch. Oh, okay, I cannot touch this, I see. I know you, machine. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too motivated. My great works are almost begun. Right, so... Tripery, okay. This is now open. This wasn't open before. What a... Note. Walking away from those temples, that small pile of stones on the rhododendrons, the skulls of innocence under the loose clod. Headless grip cages in the cool stone behind the altars, 3,000 miles apart. I trace back my life to this instance. Rain channels eroded in ancient stone. The toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. I hack and ratch and vomit into the sink and grasp the bow with both hands and stare. There in the block hole, as clear as day, a toy spin, clockwork and intricate like a child's spine. But clockwork? How could that be? How could a child's spine be made like co uh, clockwork? I washed it carefully and placed it on the mantelpiece by the egg I lie myself on the garden where the children's skulls are buried. I call it my Mexico. Again, I have a very realistic and real um, expectation of what actually happened to Mandis' children. But I'm not going to tell it right now because I think I, w I will otherwise maybe spoil the ending right here. I am here again at the foot of those stairs. Towards the red light of the nursery. Sunset in the window like a bleeding sky. The horizon a slit throat. The seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. Okay, let's... Oh, there's another one. 
Ooh. There's a bunch of pigs and they are feeding on the on dead corpses. I can meet him, your great engineer. How marvelous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders? Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Manders! We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. I fly in stillness now. Blue water runs in my veins, now I am clean. I carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home. Really dark as heck. I can't see anything. What is up in up there? This is a gigantic pool of blood and corpses and mangled remains. Really. Well, come on. Let me go up the stairs. Right. Let's take this elevator then. Let's see where it takes us. The veil lifts, the bride is waiting. The man eats the pig and the pig is eaten by the machine. And the man is eaten by the machine. This is as it ever will be. After the triparade is critically injured now, I'm sure of that. It jeers no more. I feel it shut around me, a wounded animal pressed flat to the ground. I feel it is afraid of me and I hate it all the more, as I hate myself for unleashing it. My head pounds with blood, my teeth vibrate, I retch and burn with fever. I am an angel of death, descending to smother the firstborn for the death of the two that came after. In my dreams I walk with my children, I walk tunnels where no human has trod before, I'm sure of that. It is just me and him now, frost forms on my coat sleeves, the deathly still and the freezing air tell me I am close. Go. Is this? Yeah, this opens. This op opens right up. But why did you take my children? I, Mandus. Of all the blood we have spilled together, 
the first drops fell from your hands alone, then I am damned for a philosopher. Everything is lost. No! What the... What the heck was that? Uh, I feel like there is a challenge coming up. I think we have... we are about to be challenged by some... weird creation. That this is just a large tank of some sort. There's our children, but I'm I'm fairly sure this is just these are just imaginations of our mind. Which doesn't seem to be in the best condition anyway. And something is down here with us. And I hate to think of what it is exactly. Whatever that was. That was some weird ass creature. Uh, I've got to get out somewhere. Right? Oh! There's the exit. Got out alive right there. Just in a nick of time. Oh. What is going on? Right, there's an exit into a new area. Mantis descending amongst the spirits. I deny you. I'm not your chattel. I will not be your app operator. The monkey to your organ grinder. And this processing company, Electrogravitic Suppression, South Tower. Only to save you. Only to spare you. I would have given my soul to spare you this world and its loan. Oh, my children. My children. What have I done? What have I become? I will put it right, my darlings. All of my wrongs will be righted. All of my sins washed clean. There's, I guess, one last note. 28 December memories, uh, they surface like bloated bodies rising to the scum of the Thames. I looked at them, covered in the blood of the dead mother, little piglets squalling in the swaddling, and my heart once a, at once was filled with a great love and a consuming hate I could never have imagined. At that point, did my soul split, creating him? Was this the egg of my soul? The moment the great clock began to tick is the only path to redemption to join us together again to make myself whole to close the great circle and take that madman into my heart once more and forgive him and myself as well I love you my darlings and I am sorry I am sorry for all I have done I simply loved you all too much for this world Man is alone. I search for instructions, for advice, for help in my goals, but in return the system mocks me. Simpleton, it says, you must find your own answers now. Yeah, this is 
is locked. Where do I go? We face Magnus, another challenge. Put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. What? Oh, right there. Okay. Wow, okay. Uh oh. What is going Oh Hello. Oh, god damn it. Where is it going? Oh, shit. Hi. And a thing. I've gone ahead of it. Oh, no. Okay, what's in the hack? Um, where the heck am I? Is this the ignition control again? Is this all locked? No, closed. Oh, I can get out here. No, don't know what I want to do here. Probably got something to do with this right there. What is What is that? Is they is that a beating heart? Is that really a beating heart? So what do I do with that? Something with the, the heart, right? But what is it? What is it that I do right here? Here. Okay. Or not? No. Doesn't want me to go any further up. I'm stuck. Yep. Okay. Doesn't seem the way to go then. Uh, okay. I'm a little bit lost. Not much to do. There's not a lot of possible ways to go. Actually, 
There's got to be a reason why there is a ladder here. Why doesn't it allow me to go? What? Now? Now I can get up? What is going on? Why can I go up now? Why was it not possible before? I'll need to go back down again. I need to find the ladder now. Where is the ladder? There it is. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I almost fell off. And now it's time to get this thing God help me. destroyed. I am lost in the dried paper soul of the world. Enoch, Edwin, Oswald, and I. I guess I is the split personality of Oswald. Madness, listen to your heart. You know you are with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. Of the same thing to save humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing for your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. Very near the core now. And this must be it. Daddy. Wow, this is enormous. Look at the I size of the thing. Mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent. The innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. 
they will make pigs of you all, and they will bury their snaps into your ribs, and they will eat your children. I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. All right, this is it, and what an amazing ending to this game, and I think it's quite a plot twist at the end when you realize that the guy you've been chasing after all the entire time was your own self, well, a different part of your own self, and it makes it uh, all the more dramatic when you think that you've uh, well, actually, Oswald has killed his own children just to spare them uh, the horrors of the coming century. Which, I don't know, it doesn't make much sense really. Why would you want to spare your children by murdering them? That doesn't, that seems quite contrary and kind of uh, contradicting. I'm sure a, a wealthy man like Oswald uh, would have been able to uh, save his children from having to go to war and dying in the trenches a horrible agonizing death but I have to say this game has a very very strong story it, gameplay wise it's not as good as the first Amnesia it's too linear for that and uh, there's not much of puzzle solving going on, at least nothing that really uh, that's really worth 
calling a puzzle. I mean, some you just have to find a few items. There's no combining things like in the first Amnesia. Um, but nonetheless, I think the, the story makes up for a lot of the um, the simplistic or the more simple gameplay as compared to the Dark Descent. And I really, really enjoyed playing through this game. It's really about one of the best stories I've had in a um, horror game so far. I think the only game that is about on power a bit better in that regard even is uh, Soma, which I've also played on my channel. But yeah, this was definitely worth my time, I think. And it's also interesting how they kind of like um, made a bridge between the first Amnesia and the Machine for Pigs via the um, the artifact, the orb. The party that leans upon the workers but serves the bourgeois in a period of the greatest sharpening of the class struggle cannot but sense the smell wafted from the waiting grave. Leon Trotsky. The end. And what an end indeed. Wow. Alright, so this was a machine for pigs. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me play through this game. Um, I've actually... I had planned to play through this game a long, long time ago, but I've had some recording issues with which kept me from going through this game. Um, but eventually now I've caught up with it and so now I've played all of the Amnesia games and Soma and I'll have to find a new game, a new horror game to play through. There's a couple of options I've got in my mind but let's see what the next horror game is going to be. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in one of my future videos.